Between aging and busy lifestyles, many women struggle with maintaining their physical and mental wellness. At Aquavita Concierge Healthcare Services for Women, we can help you revitalize your health and reclaim your life. We start from within by balancing your hormones, allowing your body to achieve and maintain desired weight goals. We also specialize in peptide therapies, regenerative medicine, sexual health, and aesthetics in our state-of-the-art facilities. Feel better, look better, live better. At Aquavita, visit aquavitality.com and begin your journey today. You know, I still have a case of reasonable doubt about Jonathan Majors. I really do. Then again, I'm not on the panel, so I can't necessarily say anything. But I also do know what a time to be alive, man. Because everything is all supposed to be Christmassy and enjoyable, but it seems like nobody gives a damn and other people are just so soaking their own ways. All right, well, let's go ahead and bring about some Christmas cheer then, because welcome to the J-Man Show here on J360 Radio! Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com renew to learn more. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to Chumbacasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hey, how's it going, J360 Legion? What is happening? Welcome to episode 319 of the J-Man Show. And I'm your host, J-Man, of course. And uh, season's greetings and all that jazz. Yes, yes, yes. Christmas time is here. And soon enough, in about five days. Well, no. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. See, I'm just making sure I'm not a man out of time because it is 1220th right now. And, you know, you got like at least four more days to go till it's time to go ahead and tell your spoiled kids or your spoiled brothers or sisters kids, you ain't get jacked this year because you don't need shit. <laughs> and you know what? Um, Man, those were the days. But let, let me let me just tell you this. This is also one of those crazy time of the years where people really are hard on themselves. You know, they're feeling down, like they don't have enough money, like they don't have a significant other to spend the holidays with. I, you know, it's, it's weird to me around this time of the year, right? You would think it was Valentine's Day where that shit was a requirement, but... You know, is it Hallmark that started that crap where, you know, like, you had to have somebody at this time? Or every... No, no, it wasn't them. It was K Jewelers that started that crap. Every kiss begins with K. Is that why people really do cry when it comes to time for January, right? Because God knows December would just beat the hell out of all of us when it comes to having to get gift giving and all that kind of stuff. It's very interesting. But you see, there are times where you can be mad at the holidays, and there could be times where you scoff at the holidays. But I- I'm going to be for real with y'all. I'm going to enjoy this. I am going to enjoy the holidays. You know why? Like, even when I worked in retail and all that stuff, and I had to go in, like, on, you know, seemingly important days, because, you know, your family comes in, but then, like, when it comes to things like, you know, Sam's Club, Walmart, Target, any of them, you're on their time and all that crap. It's like, you don't have any family of your own, but you do. You know what I mean? So you try to make that moment with them important. But let me just tell you this. Yeah. Yeah. Even when I was there, I found a way to enjoy it. I found a way to laugh about things. I found a way to look at other people spazzing out and being like, you know what? It's not that serious. In the grand scheme of things, everything's going to be all right. You know? This is where time management comes into play and how you actually value things that are important to you outside of, like, you know, all this other stuff. 
And if you wanted to get like the hottest toy of the year, you should have looked at it around like October. Because you know what? Christmas is trying so damn hard to take over like the last parts of the year anyway. You might as well look at October as like, hey, this is a way to go ahead and take center point and get some reconnaissance for it. You know what I mean? But you know, it's been a weird time this year anyway. I mean, there's a lot of things to be like kind of perturbed about, you know? Like Call of Duty wasn't even that good this year. At all. Like, look, look, look. Even Call of Duty fans that are hardcore, that done the war zone, that got the mobile and all that stuff, even they're looking at Modern Warfare 3 like, what the hell are you supposed to be? Are, are you, what are you supposed to be? Are, is this the way we're going to be for like the next games on in and all? When at the same time, Call of Duty usually be thriving right about now. Like, you know, lots of people would be going on to Call of Duty playing the game. Yeah, 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 you'll deal with the toxic fandom. But at the end of the day, all fandoms are kind of toxic in their own way, And if you really look at it. But it's just like, yeah, yeah, they, they dropped the ball with that. But you know what, though? They make up for it in, like, some of these great deals that are going through. And not too long ago, me and a friend of mine... Marco, a.k.a. Wash Inc., a.k.a. Mr. Your Mom's Favorite, and not only that, the head honcho of soda. <laughs> we were playing a power play game talking about how, like, you know, we're having a fun playing classic Street Fighter, but when it comes to, like, the way the new games have been, like, Mortal Kombat 1 and what they're trying to do with that is just, you know, it just makes the game not fun. I'll be honest with you. When they were going for Mortal Kombat 1, I was intrigued about how, like, the universe can be restarted and where we go from here. Maybe some old favorites come back. And they did. But mind you, it's just, it feels like a barren wasteland compared to what was fun about 11, 10, and 9, you know? Like, if you stay in with that series, you're just like, what, 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 is, what is this? But then again... A lot of people be like, the universe has been restarted, Jay. We're not going to have the same old things like we used to. <laughs> no shit, because a long time ago, that stuff used to be fun. That series used to be enjoyable. And, like, I'm sitting there playing it, and I'm like, huh. Well, not only uh, am I losing the love of the game, but where's my replay value? You know, like, where's my stuff to unlock for these characters? Oh, you have to buy them now bullshit and before any of y'all ask me about well didn't you buy stuff for street fighter 6 yeah but that's a little different and i'll tell you how because you see like when it came to mortal kombat regardless if they were doing a continuity reboot or whatever you had completion in this game this game doesn't even have cross play 11 had cross play it was a weird way to work it out but at least we knew it was there you know what i mean peace of mind you know, a reason for me to keep playing this game. Because after a while, we all know, we're not really getting too much of a story in these games like we used to. I mean, hell, you know, like, even during the time when Halo 3 was floating around, the campaign was about five hours. You know what I mean? Like, nowadays, we're all looking for, like, how long the campaign's gonna be. Like, those of us that played Spider-Man 2, some of us are like, mm, I feel like the campaign kind of dragged on, but at the end of the day, it's cool to note that it was long enough for my while. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, New Game Plus and uh, DLC. Even though at the same time, you kind of seen it already because of what happened with Insomniac Games. Which, by the way, yeah, thanks for nothing, Ransomware Group, you fucking chodes. I mean, for real. Like, like because, and I gotta give Sony a little bit of a tip of the hat, though, because they did not cater to it. They did not pay the money. So, they must have, like, a trick up their sleeves about things and pretty much not feeling the pinch that all that information's out there right now. I wouldn't. You know what I mean? Like, if anything, like, have a backup plan for that stuff. I just think that's just, like, why, why would you do that now, you know? Oh, and by the way, I think I saw, like, a Wolverine um, leak not too long ago. And um, one of the people commenting said, They made Wolverine like an investigator. That, that, that sucks. <laughs> Let that sink in. You guys know that Wolverine was a covert agent at one time and um, has done a lot of spec op missions and met Captain America when Captain America was relevant in the 40s and not to mention help save Richard and Mary Parker during a mission of his, right? Like, if Wolverine wasn't there, like, Peter Parker wouldn't even exist, right? You know? 
Wolverine has done a lot of stuff in his extended lifetime, and not to mention he has been an investigator and an agent of sorts. So what the hell is wrong with you? You know what I mean? This is why people like, like at, at best, people will speak first before thinking. And it's just like, stop. Stop, damn it. You know what I'm saying? It's like when people try to DM me when I do these shows. It's like, at the end of the damn day, it's 10 o'clock, you shut the fuck up, I'm talking. Jesus Christ. And I, it's just weird to me when people do stuff like that. It's like, look, if it was real or not, I, I think it was more or less like somebody did like a fan fan version of it and stuff because, you know, all that deep faking out here nowadays, and then not to mention, like, some people will buy packages for, like, the PC game so they can mod them. I think it was a mod at best, but I hope it was because, you know, looked all right but all i can say is is this that's not the final product and i'm glad that some of these superheroes are getting decent games however i would like a fantastic four game again yeah you know i i really would like one i I like the one from like the uh, early 2000s i did not care for that crazy ass one on playstation even though like before those movie licenses came into play and stuff you did have like the characters crossing over into different things without so much of a hassle like there was a moment where there was a boss fight with the hulk in it you know and i always wanted to just game with uh ben Grimm versus the hulk it was always like a big thing for me but you know as i talk about this stuff it's just really really sad that people had to go through a group of people had to go through this extra way and hack a video game company. They couldn't take the time to actually go to Equifax and hack that, right? They couldn't take the time to hack, like, Chase Bank or something, right? They had to go for, like, something that people really enjoy. If you went for any of those financial institutions and wiped out that credit, we all be living large. Oh, my God. What is wrong with the world, man? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Ah, Damn. <laughs> oh the goal was right over there right over there and yo jesus anyway 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 not trying to condone things i'm just i'm just thinking about an alternative universe where you know kind of like when those um gen z people were happy about you know investing in hedge funds for gamestop you know in a way we, we could have had some money like that too you know what i mean but it's just things to think about and, and make you say hmm but like, yeah, yeah, I like thinking about like what people do, man. I mean, it's the same way for like when people are over here arguing about should Superman have his red briefs in the new DC movie that's coming? It's just like, who the hell cares? But I guess it might be a big deal because anybody will argue about anything now, you know, like, like. And I'm getting so tired of James Gunn. I never thought I would really detest the person so much, but. You know, at the end of the damn day, he hasn't done a principal DC film yet. I mean, he did the Suicide Squad, and I guess they have their fans, and that's something to be proud of. And he has done the Guardians films, but I'm talking about in this whole new where he is now. You know what I mean? Hit of DC films. I'm hearing more of him talk and explain stuff instead of the actual movie coming out. And I just think that's weird. Oh, speaking of which, I, I like how people are still arguing about... They're not arguing about it being Die Hard anymore. They're arguing about it being um, another movie. I always said this. Yes, that is a Christmas movie, but so is Die Hard 2 being a Christmas movie. Hell, while we're at it, let's include Lethal Weapon 1, too. You know what I mean? Not not Lethal Weapon 2, but definitely Lethal Weapon 1. You know? like, And it didn't even matter, because if you watch it at a certain period of time... Hell, technically, um, Iron Man 3 is a Christmas movie, if you think about it. It's just like anything, people will reach, and then people will not let people enjoy things. And that's why I made that episode of the Mini Bites, such as, like, I'm going to do my own thing. Thanks. Because the hell with all of you at that point. If it gets to the point where you can't even enjoy stuff anymore, are, are everybody trying to turn into, like, Star Wars fans for all the franchises out here? You know? Hell, I just saw one of the best Christmas movies I've ever seen. It was called Godzilla Minus One. <laughs> Beautiful film. I mean, like, if you haven't seen it yet, and you know they got a monochrome version coming soon, so, you know, take yourself over there to see it. Like, what I'm saying is, enjoy things. Have a good time. Like, you know, when it comes down to, like, the Star Wars films and stuff like that, well, they're about to use Rey again on, like, a new movie where she restores the Jedi Order, you know, which technically in the books... Luke did, but hey, you know, we don't go by that no more. Uh, <laughs> you don't go by that no more. 
But let, let's just be perfectly honest, though. Franchises go through weird changes all the time. There's always somebody that's in charge of it that don't know what the hell they're doing. And then there's other people out there that on the outside looking in, nodding and agreeing because they don't want to look bad in front of certain people. And then there comes the whole point of, like, what do you like? And I've asked a lot of people this. What do you like? What do you enjoy? And you see, the funny part is they start running with the pack. And I'm like, look, I'm not IGN, damn it. Tell me exactly what you like. But then at the end of the day, that person just proves to me they don't know what they like. They just wanted to join in. They wanted to be part of something. Sycophanting it up is not a way of going through life. Let me just let you know that. Like, you know, as I run my own things and as I am a CEO, I always look to, like, people around me to go ahead and say what is necessary. You know what I'm saying? I don't want yes men. I would like, you know, you to be about this, but I want you to be respectful about it. You know? If an idea doesn't work, I mean, it just doesn't work. Now we'll go back to the drawing board and fix this thing. See what I'm saying? I I just look at people nowadays and I just realize... Anytime somebody has to be held accountable about things, they have a hard time with this. Anytime when it comes to, like, you know, actually owning up to things, have a hard time. And that's really, really a sham. Because if you're so grown, how how come you can't do grown things? You know? It's questions like that. And, like, we'll go into the holidays for that, too. It's just like, you know, at the end of the day... You need to let people enjoy things. You need to party it up yourself. I mean, hell, put on a Santa hat, drink some eggnog, and start singing off-key carols, you know? Really get things liven up a little bit. Don't know the bell, ring of the bell. You don't even need words for it. You know, you could do any of that stuff. <laughs> Christmas Day in the morning. And you can even go ahead and shift like your playlist about when you go ahead and say it. And you know, um, I guess you could go ahead and use Mariah Carey's uh ballot if you want to. And by the way, um, no, I'm not playing it here. <laughs> the hell with that. Like I say, some of the people that are out there in retail, my brothers and sisters out there, you know, doing the best you can, working them crazy ass hours of the night, knowing you're dealing with all the crazies right now because everybody's trying to do last minute. It's just one of those kind of things. I will never torture you guys like that at all. Oh, my God. Takes me back to when I heard that crap. I used to like it that first time, but (laughs) ooh, the 90 times afterwards, oh, damn. Go away, Mariah. Shoot, never thought I'd run away from Mariah Carey. Either she's really old as shit, or I just can't stand that song. Um, <laughs> you know, get you thinking like that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, I've noticed this too. People blogging about the Charlie Brown specials and how they, um, if they hold up. Let me ask you. How far gone, mentally, do you have to be to start judging Charlie Brown on its content. His dog sleeps on his doghouse, for goodness sakes. I mean, what, 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 far, what, what more do you need? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, when Charlie had the little tree and put it together, somebody had an offense about that. I was like, the hell is wrong with people? It's a tradition. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're not about stuff, and, you know, hate watching is a thing nowadays, I'll just be honest with you. But, like, (laughs) Charlie Brown ain't going to hurt you and stuff like that. I mean, if anything, the only reason why they have longevity to them is because everybody has seen them. They've been replayed over and over again. And then not to mention how wholesome all the characters are. You know, it's just, it's, it's so good. I look at it today and I'm like, yes, it holds up. I look at the original Grinch cartoon. It holds up. But then again, Grinch is out committing grand larceny all the time. So what the hell kind of role model is he, right? (laughs) his heart grew three sizes bigger that day, didn't it? Too bad it was, uh, we didn't have the heart to tell him it was a tumor. See, it's little things like that. You know, and, and like, you can go ahead and take it into account of this. We should have those traditions. Or, like, you know, like, Frosty coming to life when you put the hat on him. People had a problem with that. Oh, man, I remember, like, a couple of years ago, they tried to make Frosty androgynous. 
They were like, well, we're going to take away Snowman from the song. So, so what, what, it's just going to be called Frosty then? Frosty, Frosty, Frosty. See, it doesn't even flow. That is, that's terrible. How out of touch and how much of a control freak do you need to be to try to mess with things that don't need fixing? You know what I mean? And you, you notice this kind of stuff because you see people always have an axe to grind, always take offense to things. Like, you know, people took offense to saying happy holidays in contrast to Merry Christmas. But at the same time, it's like, I'm trying to be correct. I'm, I'm trying to be politically correct. Just be you, damn it. Don't, don't be over here trying to show off and be like any of that stuff. I mean, at the end of the day, you, you, you appreciate Kwanzaa. You appreciate Hanukkah. You appreciate, like, all the holidays that are here. I mean, saying happy holidays does kind of get the job done instead of just running through the list. I mean, I totally understand why you do what you do, but this is not a sacred rule, you know? And then, like, if you don't celebrate any of this stuff, that's cool, too. But don't be over here throwing your weight around on people and then wonder why uh, you don't get an invite to any of the parties and stuff. And then some of you are out here wondering why you don't meet people because of other things. Maybe because you're an asshole. You know? And uh, I'm being very loose about maybe. And then sometimes, you know, it's like this. If you cannot buy stuff for people, well, let's go ahead and build some stuff for people. Let's go ahead and put together a good word. Let's go ahead and work with some photos. Let's go ahead and, you know, use a little bit of creative writing along with some graphic designs. You don't really need Adobe to do all your work. You understand there's always a way to do things. And, you know, sometimes it's good to have, like, be of goodwill and good cheer and then just enjoy things. You know? Like how some people love that Flash movie, which, you know, I I did not like the Flash movie. Matter of fact, a lot of superhero movies have been hitting the skids as of late. But certain people like those characters and certain people like the interpretation of said character. Be supportive in that a little bit. You know, there's always a way about things. Oh, and then, of course, I, I love it when people get offended, you know, at any given Sunday about this stuff. People get offended about football nowadays, too. And I'm like, what? why? Well, we want more Taylor Swift. Well, then go see that stupid Ares Tour movie she had. I mean, like, at the end of the damn day, uh, by the way, by the way, mainstream media, stop the bullshit, will you? Will you quit cutting away to Taylor Swift every time the Chiefs play? I, I mean, like, damn. I, you know, I want to see the actual play of the game. I don't give a damn about, like, Travis Kelsey's girlfriend. I don't, I don't care about, like, you know, haters gonna hate none of that stuff. You know? Like, you've never seen a little white girl at a football game before. You know? Like, I, I just want to enjoy football. I just want to enjoy sports. And, oh, by the way, like, you know, when we're at a Packers game, do we have to see Simone Biles there all the time? Maybe, but here's the thing. She doesn't get nearly as much coverage as Taylor does. It's just weird to me. We get it. You're trying so hard to make this person into bigger than what she is. She already is big enough. You know? That's what I'm talking about when it comes to egos and celebrity worship and stand culture and stuff like that. All that stuff is extra, and then at the end of the day, it ruins things for everybody. Uh, speaking of other things that ruin things for everybody, did you hear about uh, Warner Brothers Discovery looking to merge with uh, Paramount Plus? Yeah, it's disgusting. It really is. I know a lot of y'all are very astute and you can feel the bile, right? Because a lot of these mergers that have happened have not been good. It might have been good for them, but we as the consumers, it has not been good for us at all. <laughs> and I'm sitting there thinking this. While it's weird, I'm always like, as long as Zavloff is not a part of it, you're good. Get somebody that's at the top that knows about production that understands the movie making side of things and, and really, really doesn't have a problem with streaming. He just knows what the hell they're doing because Zavloff does not. Matter of fact, he's the reason why that company is going through bankruptcy and all these other extra things. Canceling shit can't be profitable or good for business, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though this is a holiday episode, I'm telling you to enjoy things. We're going to talk about what's going on in the world a little bit. 
And just like when I was talking about Jonathan Majors, like, oh, by the way, I was actually, I'm not going to talk about the case. I'm not going to talk about the video. I'm not even going to talk about, like, alleged recordings that he made. But I will talk about people in the comment section. Like some of these morons that I'm looking at right now. Talking about, like, he'll never have a second chance. He won't work again. This is it. How the fuck would you know? Yeah, how would you know? You know what I mean? Like, yes, you could go ahead and talk about his skin tone. You could go ahead and talk about, like, how hard it is for black actors. Because, you know, for every... Hollywood is good about this. Because every damn time I look at you guys casting for movies, and it's always the same five people, and Tom Hiddleston's the villain... Where at the same time, it's like, what, what every black person, it's either the same three people. It's either Denzel Washington or, um, it's either Denzel Washington, Samuel L. Jackson, or Chadwick Boseman. Which is weird, considering what happened to Chadwick. What in the hell is wrong with you? You know what I mean? This is why, once again, it's myopic as hell. There's so many damn people out here that could do these movie roles, right? And then some people were like, no, we need to get rid of Kang entirely. Once again, what is with this one and done crap? You can hire somebody just as good as Jonathan Majors you could. You know what I mean? Or even then, you can understand that everybody makes mistakes. Like, I don't know if you know this, but Hollywood is not 100% clean. It never has been. You know... In the daytime, anything under that damn Hollywood sign is a lot of debauchery and a lot of decadence. And then not to mention, not to mention barren wastelands. The way they just treat people and the way they use people. And not to mention abusing people behind the scenes and all the other stuff. There's a lot of crap that goes on in Hollywood. And it's not just about glitz, glamour, and movie. Nope, nope, no, nope, no, nope, nope. We take away the smoke and mirrors and we see it for what it is. Unstable ground barely any sea level and then not to mention like you know totally totally burning itself to hell yeah and i want to work with it <laughs> funny isn't it well more or less ironic but what it is is that like yeah i'm sure that people are saying this stuff because jonathan majors got caught anybody else that got caught like any sort of major celebrity scandal that goes on or any sort of content creator scandal, too, because let's just be honest, a lot of us want to be like those big YouTubers at the top. I thought about this. Remember when that Mini Bites episode came out? Same principle. Fuck them, too. I, I don't want to be nowhere near like them. I'll go ahead and do my content, make stuff happen, let the business grow, and not look like I, I got problems and stuff. And acting like Tyrese on the internet. I ain't got time for it. Which, by the way, respect to Tyrese because he was really going through something. It's like this. Whenever you see like some of these celebrities go through a situation ship, we always look at them and we judge. We always say, that ain't going to happen to me in my life. Yeah, you know, I got it all figured out with me. It, it just ain't going to happen. You're lying and it shows. If you were in a situation like that, you would not know how to handle it. You would be very bizarre and taken aback by it. till it affects you. Till you start thinking, this can't be my real life. This wasn't the way I wanted it to be. You turned it into it. You see what I'm saying? This is what they're owning up to it means a lot. But the idea is, if the guy goes to jail for one year, which he is sentenced to do, and not to mention, hopefully never be in contact with that crazy-ass woman again. Let's just be honest. She's just as guilty as him, but she's not going to see any time. Um, the thing is, is that he goes to jail, he serves his time, he comes back out, all this other crap will be blown over, because you're, you know, a lot of you guys are figuring out, they keep just throwing the same old panderings and panderings to us, so we're not exactly going anywhere high in the entertainment industry. He could come back on top. It's his life, if he goes ahead and does what he needs to do. But he's also taking the time to appeal the court case which you're probably not going to hear about unless it's in passing, but he is taking the time to appeal it, and I hope he does, because there's a lot of those things that he got booked for was just questionable, very questionable indeed. And if you don't believe me, which you don't have to believe me anyway, you can go ahead and look it up on your own time and actually make up what you think is important. That's what you should do. You know? You do not have to agree with me. Oh, which which is funny too, because... 
I see it all the time where people agree with the celebrity, the female celebrity all the time. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, guess what, pal? You're never getting in her bed, by the way. I hope you know that. All that stuff that you're thinking about is just a fantasy. Stop simping, damn it. You know? <laughs> it's wild to me, man. It's the same thing about people with e-thoughts. You know what I mean? You say you're too broke to do things, but let me tell you something. As soon as she's like, could you guys get me this Final Fantasy statue that is well out of your budget? Because she's not going to do it with her own money. Some of these men, well, not all of them are men. Though. Some of them are women, too. Let's just be honest. Equal opportunity for that nonsense. They'll go spend hand over fist for this. That credit card is going to be in the red by the time that whole thing clears through. With interest piling up. January is going to be a tough time for a lot of y'all. I, I, I know. But the thing about it is, is that there are people who are crazy enough to do this stuff, but then they talk about how they don't have enough money. That's a damn shame. Another, another thing. When I tell you to enjoy stuff, right, I want you to gut that out. Matter of fact, this is what needs to be done. You see, how to handle E-Thought is, you need to bleed her out dry. You need to actually look at her and say, guess what? Money is tight right now, and I come first. So to hell with you, bimbo. Splice that up. I guarantee they're never going to talk to you again, and which is a good thing. Got to rip the Band-Aid off at some point, y'all. Got to cut the cord and stuff like that. They're going to be sitting there starving, though, at that point, because they don't have their own money like that. And, you know, some of these people are not good with their money. So <laughs> you cut that lifeblood off, and you just take a good long look at them and stuff like that. Now they have to go to work somewhere. Stuff is insane, like, you know, when people do that. And around the holidays times, it's no different. Don't spend money on people who don't care about you back. All right? That's another thing. I wish I did this episode a lot earlier in the month, but I was busy. Working on J360Productions.com and all that stuff. By the way, special shout out to those of you that are listening from there. <laughs> it works, don't it? Yeah, we doing it, baby. We doing it. Play more to come. But yeah, I, I want you guys to really look at things. I want you guys to open your minds. I want you guys to actually read the article and not the headline when it comes to different things. I want you all to know what the hell kind of situation or world you're living in. Because whereas 2023 is coming to an end, and it was a very interesting ride, I think 2024 is going to be the River Rapids. I think we're going to be riding and swaying and falling about. I think we might even actually hit rock bottom with some of that stuff these days. And the truth is, it's not all bad, but, you know, the comeback game, I got to be strong, okay? And I know a lot of y'all have been going through some things and stuff like that. And, you know, hey, so am I. But we can do better, okay? And another thing is about the holidays, we made it to the end, baby! We are right here! We are, <laughs> there will be no more of this until we got to go through it all again in January. Think about it. And at least then we should be more adept at how we handle it. And the best part about all that, uh, all that stuff right there is I'm still going to be here running J360 Radio all the time. But hey, I want you guys to do that though. I want you guys to go ahead and enjoy yourselves for the holiday. I want you guys to go ahead and put up the tree or, you know, look at a tree or get some gifts or make some gifts or be about having a good time. Watch the cartoons that you watched growing up and stuff. And, you know, just really, really live for you. And here's the thing try to find some enjoyment and stuff, you know? Because whereas Call of Duty was shit, Robocop is the shit. And I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> Street Justice is back, baby. And you know what? I, I love what they did with Rogue City. Shout outs and kudos to them, boy. Mm, 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 mm. But hey, all in all, though, this is J-Man signing off. I got to get on out of here. But you guys take care of yourselves, all right? I know I've been saying that throughout the episode, but I really mean it. Some of y'all need to be talked to. You, you know, you kind of slow. But anyway, <laughs> no, nah, nah, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. But yeah, I got to get on going. But I will be back tomorrow with the Power Play. And this will be on twitch.tv slash j360tv. And it'll be at 7 o'clock. All right? So now you know about it. And now I got to get going about it. So see y'all later.
Lucky Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kids' PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.